It is a joy to open God's Word this morning with you. Turn with me to uh, Deuteronomy 19. We're going to be verses 14 to 20, uh, 21 today. So join me if you would. Moses writes, Do not move your neighbor's boundary stones set up by your, your predecessors in the inheritance you receive in the land the Lord your God is giving you to possess. One witness is not enough to convict anyone accused of any crime or offense uh, they may have committed. A matter must be established by the testimony of two or three witnesses. If a malicious witness takes the stand to accuse someone of a crime, the two people involved in the dispute must stand in the presence of the Lord before the priests and the judges who are in, in the office at the time. The judges must make a thorough investigation, and if the witness proves to be a liar, giving false testimony against a fellow Israelite, uh, then to do the false witness as that witness intended to do to the other party. You must purge the evil from among you. The rest of the people will hear of this and be afraid, and never again will such an evil thing be done among you. Show no pity, life for life, eye for eye, tooth for tooth, hand for hand, foot for foot. So we're getting into this uh, larger section, looking at some kind of specific, what we might say, case law in Deuteronomy, some specific examples of how to govern, how to live as God's people. Um, and I'm really going to focus talking about the last verse here, uh, because I think it's maybe what we're most familiar with, what we most misuse, and what, what gets at the heart of what's happening. So Moses ends this section on witnesses and fairness in law. He says, show no pity, life for life, eye for eye, tooth for tooth, hand for hand, and foot for foot. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and when we read that, we generally think, man, this is harsh. This is, this is bad. This is not, this is not good. This is, this is not how God's people should be. This is about vengeance. And this is about, uh, hurting people when they've hurt you. And while it may seem that way, that's not what Moses is getting at. You see, he's, he's talking about the importance of honesty and fairness in the way that we carry out laws and the way we call witnesses and the way we, we, we keep boundaries and property. Moses, excuse me, wants us to be fair. Show fairness and kindness and justice to others. You see, when Moses says life for life, eye for eye, tooth for tooth, hand for hand, foot for foot, he's making a point that we can't extract more than what's been ch charged on us. We can't do worse. We can't seek vengeance. We can't hurt somebody bad just because we hurt us. We have to be fair about the laws we carry out. And this is what we need to seek, fairness and rightness under God's law and under God's care, all based on God's love and, and mercy towards us us. We don't use our power, our authority, our friends to get what we want. We let the law be fair and the law be right. That is God's standard for governing a people. Father, we come before you. Help us as your people, as the people of Israel are learning how to live as your holy people. Help us to be holy, different, set apart, unique for your glory and for your kingdom. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Have a blessed Thursday. I had a great time with you. Look forward to seeing you tomorrow right here. Bye-bye.